Okay, so, uh, Sapnin fellas. Uh, in, in this, this video, in today's video, uh, I'm gonna be talking about five Pokemon that I think are pretty, pretty underrated in Regulation C. Uh, I know all, all my videos recently have been about Regulation D, but Regulation C is still going on, so I think it's important to talk about it. Uh, cause I think the only event we have left is NAIC, and it's gonna, it's gonna, NAIC is definitely gonna be interesting. It's the final uh, tournament of the format before Regulation D hits. So uh, I just wanna talk about some Pokemon that I think uh, are pretty, pretty underrated in Regulation C. So um, first of all, I'm gonna be talking about Magnezone. Now, Magnezone recently got uh, two uh, top eight finishes uh, in the Lima special event. It was on the, both of them had the same team, Flutamane, Brute Bonnet, uh, Arcanine, Palafin, Magnezone, and Baxcalibur. Uh, there, there were no, like, um, there were no ruins or anything like that. But Magnezone is really good right now. This is the set that was used with the EVs, uh, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Helping Hand Protect, with Citrus Berry. Um, this thing with Analytic, uh, if it moves last, if, if it moves last in a turn, uh, this Pokemon's attacks will have 1.3 times power. So basically, it has a built-in life orb. So if we look at Magnezone, no, I don't want specs, I want Citrus Berry. With 164 special attack. Uh, let's see, let's see against Flutterman. We look at the good bulky special attack booster energy, right? Guaranteed Oko. Against like 100 HP mains. Still a guaranteed Oko. Because if a main is like the 100244 spread, then, then like you're gonna you're gonna be fine. You know this this spread. Or hang on, yeah, so, something something like that, right? That flash cannon is still okoing. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it was spec for. But also, Magnezone's just uh, like a strong attacker right now. If, if we look at like uh, Top Goat from like other regionals, like Fresno, um, first place Magnezone is good into Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, uh, Terra Water Amoongus, uh, Pelipper, Zoomeril, uh, Talonflame, Gyarados, uh, D. Uh, D Knight definitely doesn't like you. Dondozo. Corviknight. Tyranitar. Lycanroc. You know, all, all that. Like, it's just really good, really strong into the meta right now. And it's really bulky as well. 71, 15, 90. That's like, like, pretty, pretty damn decent bulk. And. The meta, like, Regulation C currently is hurting for good electric types. Look at the electric types. The good ones are... Hang on, yeah, let's look at, let's look at electric, let's look at electric types. So what are the good ones? Belly Bolt, I guess. Iron Hands. Magnezone. Palmer, I guess. Rotom Wash, I guess. Sandy Shocks, I guess. But the main one is Iron Hands, so we're definitely hurting for good Electro-types, and Magnezone fills in that role pretty well, whilst also striking down Fluttermane, uh, for, like, striking down Glamora, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think, I think, Mag I personally think Magnezone's going to pick, like, gonna, like, pick up quite a bit in usage. Uh, next I'm gonna be talking about Revivrum. Uh, Revivrum's, Revivrum doesn't have any, like, Top cut placements. It, it, if I, if I remember, like it made day two in a tournament before. But the reason I think it's good is because first of all, base one nineteen attack is still it is like really good, and like steel poison is a really good defensive typing. If we go on the uh, type calculator, defense, we look at poison steel. Only weak to two attacks, ground and fire. 
which are taken care of by the water balloon and uh, the water balloon, the air balloon and the terra water. Another thing about it is that because of its ability overcoat, it is immune to Amoongus. So that that that's a huge thing it's got going for it. Um, decent speed, especially after a shift gear. After one attack, you basically have a tailwind boost. After one shift gear, you have a tailwind boost. Sh two shift gears, you have like more than both tailwind and choice scarf combined. And a sword stance boost. Shift gear is an insane boosting move. And on, on offense, let's see, steel, poison. So, there are, only steel resists it. It's strong against rock, grass, ice, and fairy. And it deals neutral to everything else, but that neutral damage is going to be really good when the neutral damage is like, shift geared. And because of shift gear, you also have an extremely fast haze for things like Raw Arcanine, uh, Don Dozo, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> you don't- you also don't have to run Air Balloon, you can also run Clear Amulet. Uh, Clear Amulet Shift Gear is a, like, devastating combo. So, uh, yeah, I, I think- uh, I definitely think, uh, Rev Room's going to be picking up, like, uh, <clears throat> I don't think- it- it might not pick up in usage, but I can see it, like, being used a lot more. Um, uh, next, uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on, I need to talk about the matchups. If we look at the matchups, right? There's one into main, Amoongus. <laughs> Iron Bundle definitely doesn't like it. Um, Azumarill. Uh, Screamtail. Chempow. D Knight definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> um,. As I, as I mentioned before, Don Dozo, uh, Backscalibur. Um, Amo uh, like, Amoogus, those, like, neutral poison jabs and iron heads are gonna be doing big damage. Uh, Klefki. Uh, Tita, Lycanroc. So, you know, I, I think, I think it's, like, a genuinely, like, pretty good Pokemon. Uh, next thing we talk about Volcarona. Now, I don't have a set here for Volcarona, but if we look at the Japan Nationals, we will see Volcarona here. Volcarona in top eight. But Volcarona just has so many sets it can run. I will look at, um... But we look at it, right? It's Overheat, Struggle Bug, Tailwind, Will-O-Wisp. So this is like a support Volcarona. But it also has things like, uh... It also has things like the, um... Quiverdance set with either leftovers or citrus berry with um heat wave giga drain quiver dance that's quick attack quiver dance and it was either rage powder or protect now that base 135 att uh, uh, special attack with base 100 speed 105 special defense this thing's like this thing's hitting pretty damn hard and after, after, like, a couple Quiver Dances, not only is it insanely bulky, but it's also, like, really fast. Like you can you can easily hit 155 with this thing. Go, like, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Wait. Boom. Wait. Let's hit 136. Boom, there we go. All right, you do something like this. That's a that support Volk gonna be gonna be going pretty crazy. I mean that Quiver Dance Volk. Um, you can also go with the support set. Uh, oh, it does have like a more support a more support set with like Tailwind and Rage Powder. And here I think you're gonna want Struggle Bug. And here you're gonna have Flame Body and a Rocky Helmet. So, uh, pretty like really good redirection Pokemon as well. But I'm honestly surprised Volcarona hasn't been seeing more uses. Like, we look at the Lima special event. Like, no, no Volcaronas in sight. Look at Japan Nationals, Volcarona here. When, when's, when's the next Volcarona? There is no next Volcarona. We look at Fresno. Look at Fresno, there's no Volcarona. 
I don't understand why people aren't using this Pokemon. It's it's just, like genuinely really good. Uh, maybe it's because of the bug type. The bug type can definitely hold it down a bit. But you know, like bug fire, like pretty good typing. Uh, let's see. We look at bug fire. Uh, bug fire. Only three weaknesses. Resists one, two, three, four, five, six types. Neutral to everything else, but offense, bug fire. Only can't deal super effective damage to fire types. Deal super effective da damage to six types. Um, back on defense, the fairy resist is is pretty is like pretty damn big. So uh, yeah, I, I think I think Volcarona's uh, I think Volcarona is pretty underrated. Uh, next is gonna be Grimmsnarl. Uh, I think... Uh, well, would you believe me if I told you I thought Grimmsnarl was underrated, like I have said with every other Pokemon here? But... The re- Like, I don't- First of all, you want Spirit Break Reflect and Light Screen all the time. Pranks to Screens, as seen with Klefki... Is- is really good. Like, we look up here. Grimmsnarl did win Japan Nationals. But that's like the only, like, that's like the main or even only usage has been seen. Everywhere else, it's like not being used. But I think the reason for that is, first of all, you're weak to main. Second of all, um, the dark types everywhere, like, them being immune to whatever off move you choose, it, it's pretty, it's pretty frustrating. We look at the Japan National uh, winning one. It was Misty Terrain. So we look at Missy Terrain. So, so you, your Pokemon can't get statused, which means you're immune to things like sleep, burn. Uh, another another good one is another good option is Parting Shot. Another good option is Fake Out. There's also Thunder Wave. There's Fake Tears. That's Fake Out. I already said Fake Out. There's fake tears. Um, what other what other moves are there? Taunt, trick. Scary face. So, you know, it's got it's it's like genuinely got some decent moves. I personally I think the best set is Spirit Break with Light Light Screen Parting Shot. But 95, 65, 75 might seem pretty mediocre, but that, that like, that, this thing gets hard to kill when, like, when it has screens up. Uh, it is, like, the screens are, like, a good partner. Like, the screens are good for the other things like, um, Annihilate, uh, Tinglu, Iron Hands. So, you know, it's, it's definitely got some things going for it. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to mention the Talonflame that won, um, the talent flame that one didn't have an item. So that's that's pretty so that's pretty cool. Um But yeah, I, I think Grim Snarl, like because of Japan Nationals, I think Grim Snarl's gonna pick gonna pick up in usage. So uh like Dark Fairy, it's not bad typing either. On defense, we look at Dark Fairy. So immune to two types. Resists two types. Takes neutral from, uh, uh, from everything else and is weak to three types. So defensively, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Offensively, you're only going to be using your fairy stab uh, to attack. That's still like pretty good. And then like we look at dark. You're hitting it, like there are only nine Pokemon you want hitting super effectively, and the only two that matter right now, I guess, are like Clef Key and I guess Tinkerton. So, yeah, Grimmsnarl, like, really good Pokemon. I, I, I think it's definitely going to pick up usage again because of Japan Nationals. Uh, and lastly, there's going to be a pick that I don't think many people suspected. Uh, Crocodile. Now, Crocodile only has one one thing that, uh, uh, that I can think of, and it's, uh, day, it's like 6-3 at Fresno. Uh, I remember it made day two of a previous tournament. But, like, 
92 speed is like pretty good. For, like first of all, intimidate, incredible ability. It's one of the reasons why Arcanine is so good. Why Landorus is so good. Landorus would be good. At the, any Landorus Theorem would be good anyway. But you know, intimidate just helps it. But the typing ground dark. Guess what? I'm loading up the type calculator again. So we look. We look here, right? Ground dark. So resists resists four types is immune to two types. Takes super effective from six types. But we look at uh, the combination of moves it was running. There you look at those, right? So look at ground, dark, and rock. Only grass, only grass fighting types um, resist that that, that like th th those three attacks. And the only one that's actually legal right now is Breloom. Uh, it has come to my attention that I forgot to mention. Uh, Crocodile does get uh, some amazing coverage, close combat. Dragon Claw, Fire th Fire Fang, Gunk Shot, Shadow Claw, Aerial Ace, Thunder Fang. So you know it's got it's got some good stuff. But anyway, back to your uh, regular recording, which isn't that common. It is weak to Flutterman. It's weak to Flutterman. Um, it's weak to Bundle. It has an interesting conversion with hands, because hands drain punches it, but Crocodile clicks um, Earthquake or Stomping Tantrum. It's like... True Scarf Snarl. I'm pretty sure with Scarf is thinking outspeed Flatman. Like, very easily. Like, the Snarl's really good. Rock Slides, like, for, for the flinches are really good. Earthquake and Stomping Tantrum are both amazing stabs. You look at its attack stat, 117. Like, it's not, not a bad attack stat at all. So yeah, uh, Crocodile, I think, is, is very, very underrated. Uh, would you believe me? Would you believe me? I talk about an underrated Pokemon in an underrated Pokemon video. But, um... Yeah, the, uh, like... Let's see, what, what are the positive matchups? Let's look, at, let's look at Fresno over here. Uh, Arcanine. Uh, King Gambit. Iron Hands, Golden Go. Um, Gyarados doesn't like Rock Slide. D Knight that doesn't like Rock Slide. Or Intimidate. Um, Chiyu. Chi uh, Chi I don't think Chiyu likes this thing at all. But, um, yeah, I think. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, five Pokemon that I think are like just ge just like generally underrated in the matter. But uh, that's that's gonna be it. Uh, thanks, thanks for five watch. Bye.